why is nobody pissed off about this? This has actually been floating around for a few days, and I've seen next to nobody talk about this. But apparently, Sony is going to require a PlayStation Network account to be linked to God of War Ragnarok for PC if you buy it. Didn't we just get through this fiasco with Helldivers 2? Did people already forget? Uh, you remember how Sony put out this whole requirement that you would need to have a PlayStation account linked to your Steam account and everybody just threw a shit fit and got pissed off and we boycotted it and mass review bombed and overall <laughs> made our uh, negative criticism heard. Well, now I, I have no idea what the hell is Sony thinking, but are they quietly just trying to pull another one on us? I saw this article floating on the park place, but I've also seen stuff on Twitter posts about it. But seriously, like nobody's talking about this. Did we forget? That's what I want to know. So looking at this article, it's talking about how, <laughs> first of all, the whole reason why they tried to get Hell Divers to have a required PlayStation Plus network account was because of this reason right here. It says account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studio games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. Do we remember that there was literally community managers saying that this makes it easier to ban people? Isn't God of War Ragnarok a single-player game? There's, like, no online aspect about it. So can anybody tell me why we're needing a PlayStation Network account linked to it outside of trying to control our accounts, trying to, I guess, ban us a lot easier? In my opinion, this just makes no absolute sense. I, I, I don't understand what's going on. And for them to have the goal... The, the absolute nerve to try to do this again after we had all this fiasco right here that caused them to get review bombed and backtrack it. I mean, remember, they wanted to actually get rid of the game, delist it in countries that didn't have access to PlayStation Plus. Because guess what? There's countries that don't have access to PlayStation Network or PlayStation Plus. Whatever you call it, they can't make a PlayStation Network account. And it looks like, to me, they're trying to do it again with God of War Ragnarok. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe. I, I don't know. But this isn't a good look. Uh, this article talks about how the whole backlash happened with Helldivers 2. And also, <laughs> apparently Ghost of Tsushima had a situation coming on uh, with the same thing. And Sucker Punch actually... I guess verified it. They met like a, a a happy medium, right? So you can see Xeno Aliens right here said canceled my pre order since PlayStation wants to force me to link my Steam account to my PlayStation account. Unless PlayStation abrogates this policy, I won't be purchasing any PlayStation title. They said right here, so you're aware, a PSN account is required for Legends Online multiplayer mode and to use PlayStation overlay. It's not required to play the single player game. So God of War Ragnarok, though. See, so that makes kind of sense. The multiplayer game having some kind of moderation, but even then, I don't understand how account linking makes it easier. But at least they acknowledge that Ghost of Tsushima is still a single-player game. God of War Ragnarok, if I'm not mistaken, is a single-player game. So what in the bloody hell do they need it for? I, I'm, I am lost. If somebody wants to guide me, let me know, because if I was any more lost, I would be in Narnia at this point. So, I don't know. And on top of that, God of War Ragnarok was influenced by Sweet Baby Ink. Yeah, it's on the Sweet Baby Ink detected list of one of the games that Sweet Baby Ink was a consultant on. I have no idea what I would make of this with God of War Ragnarok requiring an account to play, but it definitely backfired on Helldivers 2 to an extent that I'm really surprised, like I said, that nobody is angry about this. Are we just not paying attention to this? Is there something bigger going on in gaming? <laughs> I can't 
understand why nobody is talking about this at this point. To me, I, I don't think this is a good idea, and I think it is a bad faith uh, on Sony's behalf. How can we trust Sony? How can we trust Sony at all with any of our games if they're still trying to pull this on all of their PC ports? I know some people are like, what does it matter? You're signing up for a Steam account anyway, and when you make video game uh, purchases, some of these games make you get like an Epic Games account, and it's just one more login. You saw the backlash. People don't want this. People don't want to have to link a PlayStation account to their PC for their PC port. Some people that are buying these PC ports of these PlayStation games are buying it on PC because they don't have a PlayStation. There's some kind of underlying thing here because they're so focused on account banning. Isn't that weird? Like when you really want to sit down and think about it, isn't it weird that they're so focused on being able to ban people a lot easier in video games? Something about that just does not sit with me right, especially when it's a game that has Sweet Baby Inc. as a consultant on it. And to me, it just screams that they want to be able to control and censor gamers whenever they want. Now, okay, if, if you're acting unruly, if you're putting death threats and stuff like that, sure. And a game like Call of Duty, though, Trash Talk, again, is part of it. It's part of the Call of Duty environment. It, it, is it right? Not necessarily, but it's part of it. But for a game like God of War Ragnarok, come on, son. It's a single player game. What what are we needing to link anything for? I, I I'm I'm confused. I, I maybe I'm missing something when we take a look at this article that's talking about it, but I really don't I really don't think we are missing anything. I think it's just something that's flying underneath the radar. So you can see Sony Entertainment Global Communications Director Ram Jarabi is announcing that it will require a PlayStation Network account in order to play. That it's coming out September 19th, 2024. And hidden at the very end of the blog post with an asterisk is account for PlayStation Network required. Uh, so f it's on this blog post. Let's go ahead and check out this blog post. They said it's hidden at the bottom of it with an asterisk. So, I mean... Yeah, right here, right on the bottom. So are they trying to be slick with it? Are they still trying to push this whole <laughs> moderation? I, I have no clue, guys. Something just does not sit well with me on this, and not enough people, in my opinion, are complaining about it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.